How's it going everyone and welcome back to a brand new Battlefront 2 video. In today's video I will show you all 20 hero tips and combos that will help you fight against enemy heroes and most of them are really effective. So make sure to give the video a thumbs up as it helps the channel to grow and reach more people and also subscribe if you're new with the notification bell for more Battlefront 2 videos like this one. With that being said, let's dive into them. The first tip is going to be when you are behind an enemy hero and you hit them with your lightsaber or blaster, it will do more damage as if you would hit the enemy from the front. Moving on to tip 2. When you are playing as Yoda and you're facing off against a lightsaber villain and he is blocking, do you think you can break his block? Well you can. All you need to do is, when the enemy is blocking, use Yoda's dash and it will damage him through his block. Tip 3. If you're playing as Kylo and you use his freeze on an enemy, after the first hit you deal to him, the freeze effect will stop and he could technically get out by dashing or rolling. So make sure to go behind the enemy and hit them. It will one shot every trooper except from buffed troopers, heavies and reinforcements. Tip 4. Everyone hates it when you are playing as Yoda and you get choked, frozen, pulled or even stunned. But not many of you actually know that when you are in the middle of an enemy force ability, all you need to do is activate Yoda's presence, his health, and you will break the animation, and you can keep moving or attacking. Moving on to tip 5. While playing as Yoda, and you use the health ability, you can get the animation, but if you dash and use his presence at the same time, or you jump up then swing you won't get the animation and you will keep moving and won't have to wait. Moving on to tip 6. While you're playing as the iconic General Grievous and you face off against his rival Obi-Wan or any other hero, there's a little but really effective ability combo when you manage to hit your opponent with his thrust surge it will knock him to the ground, then you have to be quick and follow up with his claw rush. That way he will get knocked down again, but when you knock him down the second time, you will have to cancel the claw rush because he does a stomp animation and that will also do damage. Moving on to tip 7. You probably know how frustrating it is when you're playing as Luke and you're on a big kill streak. You use your repulse and it doesn't work. You die. Well, if you use Luke's dash right before using his repulse, you will no longer have the problem where the repulse will glitch out. Tip 8. While getting mind tricked by Rey or Obi-Wan Kenobi, the best way is not to get attacked, is to dash away and constantly jump up and down till the ability is finished. That way Rey or Obi-Wan will have it more difficult to hit you. Moving on tip 9. When you find yourself in a lightsaber combat duel, the best way to conquer lightsaber hits is when, when they hit you block and as soon as their lightsaber hit your lightsaber you hit back. If you perfectly time it right you won't be taking any damage and the enemy will lose the fight. Tip 10 Obi-Wan's force push is a really powerful ability. When you activate his force push, it will one-shot every trooper from full hell, except from reinforcements or buffed troopers. With the right star cards, 
Link for the best Hero Star cards will be in the description. Tip 11. Lightsaber heroes can take out tanks by jumping on top of them and hitting them. I won't recommend you to do so since it's risky and you can lose a lot of health by doing it or even die. The next tip is going to be tip 12. When you're playing as Palpatine, you can use his normal lightning and his chain lightning while you are dashing. This comes in handy when you see a lot of enemies in front of you. Tip 13. Palpatine can use lightning with both of his hands. A lot of new players just use one hand, but if you use the right trigger for the right hand and the left trigger for the left hand, you will double his damage output and it will deal more damage to the enemies, but it will also drain your stamina faster. Tip 14. While playing as Boba Fett, if you activate the scan, well his middle ability, you will get unlimited fool for a short period of time, that means you will be in the air for longer. Tip 15. If you activate Vader's focus range ability normally, you will get the animation, but if you swing and activate focus range at the same time, you will skip the animation and you won't be getting the animation. Tip 16. You can throw Darth Vader's lightsaber mid-air, just like Darth Maul, but not many heroes can use their abilities mid-air. But Vader is one of them, and his lightsaber does not go through squad shields, so don't try it. Tip 17. If you use Luke Skywalker's force push right after you jump up, you will jump higher and you will be able to get to places where you normally can't reach with a normal jump. Moving on to tip 18. When you play as Chewbacca and you're using the ground slam ability, you don't need to wait until the animation is over. Just press the button again and you will activate his slam. Also, when you are surrounded by enemies, you don't need to run and use the ability. Just jump up and activate the slam that way you won't get the animation. Tip 19. Here is a really effective combo, but it's also tricky for the new players when you use Vader. When you use Vader choke on an enemy and you catch him in the choke, just do a little jump behind him, turn around fast then use your lightsaber throw. That way, you will deal immense a lot of damage to the enemy heroes. Don't jump too high, because that's when the enemy will have enough time to get back up and block again. Now, the last tip. Tip 20. Han Solo's son, Kylo Ren, can jump up and use his pull and freeze mid-air. That means the enemies will have a harder time shooting at you since you can cut them off guard mid-air and kill them. There we go guys, 20 tips and combos, I hope these are helpful for you all, let me know down in the comments below if you didn't know some of these tips and combos, and if so, what is your favourite one? Make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all in the next Battlefront 2 video.